hit record. Camera's looking good. Nice. Welcome everyone to this class. Um, yeah, find you mad. My name is Victoria. For everyone who does not know me, or maybe you know me from the meditations, I am part of the coaching team and it's it's always a huge pleasure to come here and to teach these classes. It's it's a huge passion of mine. So I am excited to, you know, come together with you guys every single week. Literally, it's uh, it's always so wonderful. Um, find your mat and come into child's pose. So on your shins, untuck your toes, and then bring your forehead into the ground, the midpoint in between your eyebrows. Maybe your arms are resting on the sides of your body with your palms facing up or down, whatever feels good to you. You can even cactus your arms if that feels good to you. Yeah, and then remove all the distractions, your phone, your Slack and email notifications, maybe close the door of the room that you're practicing in so you won't be disturbed. And then vinyasa is really a, it is for me, it's a body-based meditation. So from here, you know, as a first step, we always start linking with our breath. So that might be the first time if it's early in the morning that you might take some really conscious, deep inhales and exhales here. And just arrive here on your mat. You can close your eyes. You can keep a soft gaze. And please let me know if you can hear me or if there are issues with the sound, trying to speak up, even in the wildest poses <laughs> later on. All right, and you know, start breathing here and, and cultivating this stillness, this calm moment. You know, as we know it from our meditation practice, just simply linking to the breath. And once we started breathing deep, like we really give our mind a tool, something to do, right? If we start breathing deep, you shouldn't be able to think about anything else. If you're fully focused on your deep inhale and your full breath out. So that's what we're really trying here in the vinyasa. I Vinyasa mean, means to place in a special way. To place in a special way. So let's do that. This practice is really about, you know, placing your body in those postures that are feeling good to you and good in your body. You're going to stretch, you're going to reach, you're going to bend to your own degree. And while I give you almost generic, you know, postures, and this Vic Vinyasa flow, I really want you to make this a personal practice, to individualize it, to come out of a pose if you feel like that's way too much for you, or to challenge yourself if you notice that you have room to explore and to come deeper into a pose. And just take a couple more deep breaths here. And I mean, yes, as a rhythmic, flow. So we link the movements with the breath. We're going to start off a little slower and then we're going to pick up the pace. Anytime, you can come anytime into child's pose, basically, yeah, the pose that you're in right now. And I really want to challenge you to let your ego, you know, leave your ego outside of the room. Close the door, leave it outside, you know, break that program of thinking the more the better or no pain, no gain. And this practice is about touching your body in so many different places gently. Okay. And then from here, slowly bring your arms in front of you towards the top of the mat. With your palms facing down, rooting deeply into the ground, you can Spread your legs a little further so that your sit bones may touch your heels. Maybe, maybe not. 
keeping your head on the ground for now and then lift up all your 10 fingers spread them as wide as you can and bring them starting with the pinky back into the ground so just remember this calm calmness and that stillness that you just accumulated here in the beginning and and i want to challenge you to keep this calmness throughout our practice in those moments that you're challenged in those moments that you feel like you want to just like you know take a you want to like you don't want to go deeper you don't need to go deeper but there might be some emotions there might be some sensations that feel uncomfortable or challenging that open up a a new door or something that you may have suppressed for a long time and then from here tuck your toes lift your knees up and come into your first downward facing dog okay so you'll your legs are stretched out your arms are long extended forward your tailbone is really drifting and moving towards the sky the underarms are wrapping together so we're not in our shoulders we're not locked up in our shoulders let your head dangle free and just breathe here breathing in and breathing out and as they wear a hook as there was a hook on your tailbone with every exhale can you reach your sit bones a little further up towards the sky Maybe your heels are touching the ground, maybe not. That really depends on the flexibility. And maybe if you're hyper flexible, you have to go a little deeper. You have to bring your heels towards the ground to, you know, get the same benefit or get the benefit out of the pose. Your fingers spread wide, firmly rooting in towards the ground and let your head really fully relax. You can close your eyes here for a moment. You can take your dog for a walk if that feels good to you. Some people might like to, you know, pedal their feet and bend their knees from left to right, or you can bring your feet wider towards the outer edges of your mat for a moment for an elephant kind of dog. Ah, just feel your navel tucking in and breathe. Okay, building up strength in our upper body here. You can bring your knees anytime into the ground and come into child's pose. Okay, from here slowly, step by step, six inches increments, step towards the top of your mat. Mm, with your hands in the ground, forward fold. Okay, and I do, I did discover <laughs> that I feel like we want, we don't give enough credit to this pose here. Forward fold. Okay, so literally, I believe everybody can grab their ankles, but that is not really the goal. You know, the goal is to. Bend over your legs here, melt down towards the ground. Let your head dangle free and <sighs> relax your head and keep your full breath, your deep breath and your breath free. Maybe your palms are rooting in towards the ground. Maybe you're on your fingertips, really depending on the length here of your legs. So maybe you have long arms. I feel like I have long arms, so I almost like, I, I even like have a bend in my elbows here. You know, everybody can, everyone can jam their head closer towards their knees, shins. Just notice what feels right in your body, what feels too much, what feels almost ego. And just bend towards the right degree. Find that sweet spot where you feel the benefit, you feel the sensation, you feel your the backsides of your, your legs stretching and getting longer and longer. Mm, while keeping a really, really deep breath. Okay, from here, come onto your fingertips. Inhale, 
Glance up, long spine, looking towards the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Spread your arms, airplane wings, left and right. Lengthen everything you can potentially lengthen the backside of your legs, your spine, your arms, the crown of your head, moving forward while your tailbone draws back. And then with a full fat inhale, come all the way up towards the sky. High prayer, look up if you like to. You can even bend back a little bit. Exhale, forward fold, airplane wings melting towards the ground. Inhale onto your fingertips, long spine. Exhale, forward fold and step back into high plank. Okay, so upper push-up position here, your wrist right underneath your shoulders, your heels and feet pushing and drawing back, your core is activated. <sighs> Spreading your fingers wide and really creating some heat here. Breathing deeply. <sighs> Breathing deeply and free in each pose. And then exhale, you can bring your knees just chin to the ground, or you could lower halfway down and then all the way down onto your belly, untuck your toes. Don't move your hands, keep them where they are, and then inhale into your first cobra. Lifting your chest up, you can look gaze forward. Hmm. It's like bending your elbows, your elbows tend to draw together, your shoulders move away from your ears and your shoulder blades drawing together. Your legs are loose like jelly butter. Your top of your feet pushing into the ground. Exhale, lower down, chin into the ground. Inhale, one more time, come up into cobra, press into your hands. Exhale, lower back down, chin into the ground. Inhale, come up cobra. Maybe this time you come a little higher. Be gentle, be really, really gentle. It's still early on here. Maybe you can lengthen your arms a little more here. Breathing in and breathing out. Oh, maybe it feels good to, to you to draw your head back opening up the throat chakra here. Mm. Getting you ready for gentle, thoughtful communication throughout your day today. Still a slight bend in your elbows. So if we bend our elbows a little further here, we won't have all the pressure and all the strength coming out of your lower back. So what happens is your strength will also come from the mid back and the upper back. So if you bend your elbows a little more, you will feel the shift here. And then exhale, chin into the ground, tuck your toes, press up into a high plank, push up position. Inhale and exhale, downward facing dog, drawing your hips towards the sky. Okay, slowly step by step, step towards the top of your mat. Forward fold as you exhale. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Airplane wings, left and right. Fat inhale, come up all the way towards the sky. High prayer. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Step back into high plank. Okay, creating a little bit more heat here. Three push-ups. You can totally come onto your knees here. Okay, do it from here. Inhale, chin into the ground. Nipples don't touch the mat. Lower halfway down. Exhale, come all the way up. Push up, upper push up. Two more times. Exhale, chin to the ground. Not the nipples. Inhale, come back up. Inhale, lower down. Chin into the ground, exhale, come back up. And all the way back into downward facing dog. Let's take a deep collective inhale here all together. Then exhale it out. 
Inhale, you can flutter your lips if you like to. Exhaling it out. And then step towards the top of your mat, slowly in control, enjoying every single step you take here. And connecting the movements with the breath. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Airplane wings bring you up as you inhale. Maybe bending back if that feels good to you. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. You can hop or step back into upper push-up position. Knees, chest, chin, into the ground or lower. Like a push up down all the way onto your belly, untuck your toes, keep the hands where they are. Inhale, cobra here, maybe even a little further up. Exhale, lower chin back into the ground, tucking your toes, lift back up into high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, one more round here for a warm up sequence. And let's start to really now fully link the movements with the breath, okay? Maybe you can breathe with me. Inhale, tailbone slopes up. Exhale, step towards the top of the mat. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up, high prayer. Maybe bending back. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, long spine. Hold your breath. If your breath is a little shorter, wait for us. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, glance up, long spine. Exhale, forward fold and step back into downward facing dog. Nice, everyone. Okay, warm up secret, warm up se sequence done. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's take it, let's take it a moment here to connect back, back with our breath, to catch your breath. Notice the heat that you've been creating in your body throughout the last minutes. Like a meditator, bringing your mind back to the breath and keep bringing it back to the breath. This is going to send you a lot of stories, a lot of things to talk, to think about, to problem solve. Okay. From here, shift your weight onto your right hand, staying down dog, but bring your left hand onto your right, uh, right um, calf or ankle. So we're in a, in a three-legged downward facing dog here. And then twist open towards the right. Look towards the right. A lot, a lot, a lot of strength in your right arm, in your upper body, chest back. And a nice stretch in, your, in the backs of your legs. And maybe you look underneath your armpit towards the sky. One more breath here. And exhale, bring your left hand back into the ground. Changing towards the left side. Now shift your weight onto your left hand and then grab your left knee or calf or ankle with your right hand. Let your head dangle free. Relax your head, relax your forehead. Relax your jaw. Link to your breath. Do not forget to breathe deeply and free. Maybe you can look underneath your armpit towards the sky. If that's too much, you just look towards your toes, towards your toes or towards your mat. Really building up some more strength here in our arms, wrists, hand, back, chest. And then one more breath, come back with your right hand into the ground. Shift forward into high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down onto your belly. Untuck your toes. Inhale, come up into cobra. 
Exhale, chin into the ground, tuck your toes up a push up position. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. So let's build our flow. Inhale, your right leg lifts. Three legged dog. Open up your hip here. Opening up your hip, bringing your right heel towards your buttocks as best as you can and to your own degree. You can rotate and draw some circles here with your hip. Really connecting here and linking your movement with your breath. And then come back to center. And then as you exhale, draw your right foot in between your hands, low lunge. Okay, maybe you're here on, up on your fingertips, maybe you have two blocks and bring your hands onto the blocks. Long spine looking towards your mat. And then bring your left knee into the ground, untuck your left toes, and then bring your right hand on the inside of your right foot. So both your hands are, are on the left side of your right foot. Okay. You can bring your right foot a little further towards the, the edge of your mat on the right side. And you can stay up here or you come down onto your forearms to, you know, just bring a little bit more movement and movement here in our right hip. And really here, letting your right leg fall towards the right. You can even come onto the outer edge of your right foot if that feels okay to you. Okay, you may even stay up here. You may even have a walk underneath your hands. And that might be enough for you. You might get the full benefit here. If you were flexible, or hyper flexible, you have to go a little deeper. You have to put a little bit more work into feeling and getting the benefit out of this pose, which is, you know, really going deeply and touching our right hip crease deeply here. And breathing in and breathing out. Oh, you can let your head relax here. Mm. Bringing your mind back and, you know, if your mind wanders, just notice, just notice, simply notice, witness, you know, be gentle and bring yourself back with your next inhale. And then from here with the next inhale, bring your hands back into the ground. If you were on your forearms, bring your right hand back on the outside of your right foot. Crescent lunge here. And then I took, I tuck your back toes, left toes, spin your left heel down into the ground. Maybe now you grab your block or even without a block and bring your right hand on the outside of your right foot. Okay. From here, we're going to open up the left hip and reaching our left arm up towards the sky. Okay. Right hand on the outside of your right foot and let your right knee shoot further towards the front of the mat and pass so that it's passing your right arm. Breathing here. Hmm. Opening up here in our hip. Going a little further and deeper here in our right hip crease. And opening up the whole left side of our body. Breathing in, breathing out. Maybe you look up towards the sky if your neck allows. If not, you look down towards the mat. That is way too much. You can even modify more and bring your right form on top of your right thigh. Breathing deeply here. With your next inhale, come up into warrior two. Spreading your arms sideways and sinking deeply into your right leg. Okay, so your front heel is aligned with your back arch. Your tailbone slopes in and up. 
And can you sink a little deeper into your right leg? Yes, we will start feeling it in our right thigh. Okay, opening up the left hip, feel your back pinky rooting into the ground. Okay, find your focus and find this body-based meditation here, okay? Can you look towards the steady point or towards your fingers? And really mm -hmm. tune in and concentrate on those sensations and what's happening in your body, what you need today, instead of what you want. Okay. And then from here, you can um, heel toe your back foot a little closer towards your right. Keep your right leg bent though. Reach your right arm forward, flip your palm, bring your left hand onto your left leg and then inhale up for peaceful warrior. Mm. Breathing here and opening up the whole right side of your body. <sighs> Exhale, bring both your hands back into the ground. Step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Shift forward into plank, high plank push-up position. Lower all the way down onto your belly. Untuck your toes, it has been a while, be gentle. Inhale, cobra here. Exhale, chin into the mat. Tuck your toes. Inhale, come back into push-up. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> okay, take a moment to check in with yourself, maybe catch your breath, catch your mind, <laughs> bring the puppy back, bring your mind back into the present time experience that you're having right now, and just be so, you know, happy and grateful for showing up today and showing up for your body and your mind. And this is truly wellness, touching your body so gently in all those different places. And then shift your weight onto your right foot. Inhale, right, uh, left leg lifts, three leg a dog. You can open up your hip here. If this is way too much, you just stay here in a regular three leg dog. Okay, open up here. I'm enjoying the steep opening and stretching your left hip groin. <sighs> Building up a lot of strength in our arms. <sighs> a lot of length in our right leg. And then come back to center. Inhale and exhale. Swing your left foot in between your hands. Low lunge. Runner's lunge. Maybe you're up on your fingertips. Long spine here, long neck, looking towards your mat. Breathing here, and then bring your right foot, uh, your right knee into the ground, and tuck your right foot. And then from here, bring your left hand on the out inside of your left foot. Maybe bring your left foot a little further towards the left as much as it feels good to you, to your own degree. Remember, individualize your practice. Don't ever let a yoga instructor in your, you know, help you or let you come into a position and a pose that, that doesn't feel good into your, in your body. And then from here, you can stay up here, hands on a block. That might be already enough. You can slide your right knee a little further back if that feels good. You can stay up here. You know, you might even stay up here and open up your heart chakra, your heart space a little bit. Or you come down and bring your forearms into the ground for a little bit of a deeper version. Now, a lot of people also like to stay on their right hand and bring your, their left hand onto your, their left knee and gently pushing their left knee a little further towards the left. Yeah, make sure that, that that's what feels good in your body. Yeah, you, you, you're, you're tasked to find your sweet spot, to figure out what's not enough, what's too much, I'm breathing here. 
Mm, breathing deeply and freely here. Mm, maybe with every exhale, you can, or your body actually allows you to access your left hip a little further, a little deeper. You know, and for every each pose, you know, check it out before you come into the full expression or before you go deeper, check it out. Go a little bit, go a little bit, try it out. And then sometimes the body will naturally, you know, like the body's, like you're knocking on someone's door and there's a little chain on the door. This person might look through and check, you know, who's in front of, outside of the door. And then once they've checked who it is, they might open up the chain. And that's how the body works most of the times as, as well. So give it time to explore how far you can go. How do you want to go? And then with your next inhale, come back onto your hands. You can bring your left hand back on the outside of your left foot. Crescent lunge, tuck your right toes under. And run this lunge here. Spin your back heel down. And then with or without the block, bring your right, your left hand on the outside of your left foot, reaching your right arm up towards the sky as you inhale. So feel that external rotation in your right thigh, opening up the right thigh and leg. And then that deep, nice stretch in your left hip. The beautiful opening in your chest, in your ribs. Your, the crown of the head really reaching forward. Your back foot reaching back and connecting with the ground. And can you lengthen your right arm further up towards the sky as you press deeply into your left hand? Let your left knee shoot and pass your left arm. And then with your next inhale, come up into warrior two, hero's pose. <sighs> okay, a little relief here in our hip. We're still really working on the left side on our left leg and thigh. Front heel is aligned with the back arch. A nice lift in your chest, relax your shoulders. Tailbone slopes forward and up. Strong core. And now explore, can you go a little deeper into your left leg? Can you feel your back pinky in the ground? Can you keep that connection while you're pulled with a crown towards heaven, while your feet are deeply connected and rooted into the ground? And just breathe. Sometimes I like to take a fly to relax my arms and my shoulders. And now you can hop your back foot a little closer towards your right, just a tiny little bit. Keep a bend in your left knee and then flip your left palm, reach it forward and up for peaceful warrior. Right hand on your right chin or knee. Just, you know, let that strength come out of your left leg. Not leaning too much onto your right leg. And then bend over to your degree. Can you stretch and reach a little further up? Reaching towards eternity, as we like to say in yoga. Reach towards eternity. There's really no end. <sighs> Breathing in. And exhale, cutwheel your hands back to frame your left foot. Come onto your right toes. And then step back into Downward facing dog, moving through a vinyasa, shift forward, high plank. Exhale, go all the way down. Untuck your toes, hands stay where they are. Inhale, cobra here, maybe now a little further up. Exhale, chin into the ground. Tuck your toes, 
lift back up into upper push-up position. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, back to our home base. In six increments, six inches increments, step forward towards the top of your mat. You can hop, but hop, you know, really like quiet towards the top of the mat. Inhale, long spine, glancing up. Exhale, melt forward, Uttanasana. Okay, notice how does the forward fold feel now? Can you sense that you're able to, you know, melt a little further um, over your legs? Does it feel a little bit more warm? A little easier to access? Probably, hopefully. Now reach your arms and airplane wings left and right. Lengthen everything you can lengthen here. Your back, your neck, your arms. And reach and lift your arms higher than anything else. You might have still a slight bend in your knees. Just breathe here for a moment. And then from here, shift the weight onto your right foot. Lift your left foot off the ground and behind you. You might wobble. Yes. So we are in warrior three now. Okay. Your torso parallel towards parallel to your mat. And can you arch your back here a little bit? Looking towards your mat. Breathe deeply. Breathe so calm. So calm, as calm as and nicely as you can. Reaching your arms towards the sky. One more breath here. And then bring your right hand into the ground. Half moon here, about six inches above your right foot. And then open up your left hip. Reach your left leg back as there were a imaginary wall behind you. Can you open up your left chest, your heart space, reach your left arm towards the sky. Maybe you can look towards the left or towards the sky. I, I can right now. <laughs> it's definitely here is my boundaries. I can try, you can try it. If you have room to explore, there's nothing wrong with falling. In fact, let's fall all together. Looking towards the left. One more breath here. And then from here, this is a, this is a nice maneuver. Come back, airplane wings, parallel your hips. Ooh, that is a lot in the glutes. And your right glute is fired up. And then from here, bring your left foot next to your right. Exhale, forward fold. Shake your legs out for a moment. <sighs> nice. Inhale, long spine, glides up. Exhale, forward fold. Mm, you can grab your opposite elbows for a moment to swing. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. No, no, no. And then bring your hands back into the ground. Step your right foot back and bring your right heel like so. Basically, both your legs are lengthened out. So you're it's like it's almost like a warrior one uh, legs. And then your hands are framing your left foot for now. You're like, it's almost like you're on two railroad tracks here. So your hips are pointing forward, they are parallel. So draw your right hip a little further forward, probably your left hip a little back. Take an inhale here, lengthen everything you can possibly lengthen. And then exhale, fold over your left leg to your own degree. You might even use your blocks here on both sides, underneath your hands. Still a nice bend in your right leg and your left leg. You can rest your head if you can on your left shin. And then from here, 
with a block or without. Bring your left hand on the outside of your, on your left foot. And then lift and zip yourself up towards the sky, right hand up towards the sky, getting ready for triangle here. Maybe now you like to bring your left hand onto your left shin. <sighs> like pulling yourself and your torso, your upper body up towards the sky. Feel that fold in the left hip without collapsing here in the left hip. Okay, if we lean too much here onto our left hand, now to our left leg, we, we tend to collapse. Can you zip yourself up towards the sky? And that requires core work. Okay, strong core here. Full breath in, full breath out. Reach your right arm up and over your head, framing your head. Breathe deeply and free. Okay, you can stay here or come to the classic triangle, or if you want to come with us a little further today, reach your left arm also up towards, towards the front of the mat. So now you're framing your head with both arms. It's called the triangle. <laughs> Why is it called the triangle? It might make you cry because it's really hard, or you can also interpret it as a crunch in a triangle. Okay. Inhale, come all the way up, parallel your feet towards the left, the right, sorry. Reaching up here towards the sky. And then exhale, hands onto your hips, forward fold all the way down. You can bring your legs as wide as it feels good to you. You can bring the crown of your head into the ground or just stay up here onto your fingertips. So, Again, to your own degree, to your own degree, okay? Some of you might even bring their hands behind them and underneath their torso with the palms into the ground. Can you feel the strength in your outer legs? Can you feel your pinkies really rooting into the ground? Maybe you can bring your crown into the ground. Just for a moment here. It's gonna be a quick, a quick pit stop. And then your hands back into the ground. Um, your toes pointing back towards the front of the mat. Low lunge here onto your fingertips. Step back into high plank. Lower all the way down and tuck your toes. Inhale for cobra, maybe this time a little higher. Exhale, chin into the ground. Push up. High plank, exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> nice. Breathing in, breathing out, back to her home base. <sighs> and then step by step towards the top of your mat. <sighs> Forward folds. Uttanasana. <sighs> Mm. Breathing deeply here. Keep bringing your mind back to this present experience that we're having here. And then from here, airplane your arms left and right. Again, lengthening everything you can potentially lengthen. Feel the energy drawing the crown of your head forward, your tailbone back <sighs> towards all directions, left, right, forward, backward, towards heaven, towards the ground, mama earth, and then shift your weight onto your left foot, lifting your right leg off the ground and behind you, warrior three here, okay, breathing here. Can you reach your arms a little higher? Press your left, your right foot a little further back against that imaginary wall behind you. Active core, strong core here. Can you arch your back a little bit here? Arch your back a little bit. Looking towards your mat, a long neck, a long spine. 
And feel how that energy is drawing into and through your left leg. Breathing deeply here. One more breath. And then exhale, left hand into the ground. Open up your right hip. You might wobble here. Adha Chandrasana, half moon, reaching your right arm up towards the sky. Strong right leg, strong left leg. If you have a block, now you grab your block. Right underneath your shoulder. And reach further up and open further up towards the sky. A block is such an incredible tool to help you to come deeper into your pose. So using a tool is not a weakness. It's actually strength. Why? Because we leave that ego out of the door. Okay, I need some support to come deeper into positions or to uh, reach a bigger benefit. Breathe deeply here. As if you were sitting, relax in a chair. If nobody knew you're in this challenging pose, they couldn't tell by hearing your breath. Okay, a little maneuver coming back into airplane wings and warrior three, parallel your hips again. Reach your arms as high as you can. Breathe in deeply, one more breath in and then exhale. Right foot right next to your left, forward fold. Whoo, shake it out. <sighs> okay, from here, step your, framing your right foot with your hands and stepping your left foot a little, a uh, little further back. So now we are back in pyramid pose. Both hip points are pointing forward, all 10 toes rooting firmly into the ground. If you have blocks, use your blocks now. Inhale, long spine, exhale, forward fold over your right leg. <sighs> okay, can you draw your right hip a little back, your left hip a little forward? Still a nice bend in both knees. And then let yourself just fall and relax and let your head dangle over your right leg to your own degree, making your practice really individual, taking Vic's practice and making your own out of it, your own individual personal practice. Mm. Again, if this is way too much, come out of the pose anytime. Rest in child's pose or come back to downward facing dog. <sighs> okay, so this is a nice stretch in your hamstrings here in your calf, the whole backside of your right, your right leg. And then from here, getting ready for triangle. Bring your right hand onto your right ankle, maybe, or on the inside of your right calf, and then zipping yourself up towards the sky, reaching your left arm up towards the sky, activating your core so you're not collapsing here in your right hip, but you have a nice, nice lift here. <sighs> Looking up towards the sky, or if your neck allows, or maybe you look towards your right foot. Sometimes I have days where the neck thing is just way too much. <laughs> just look down onto your mat. It's your focus point. Can you open up the whole left side here? Your heart space, maybe bending back a tiny little bit here, not leaning too much onto your right hand. Strengthen your core. And then reach your left arm above your head. Breathing deeply, you know what's coming the triangle, and then your right arm as well. To your own degree, use your breath. <sighs> breathing in, breathing out. <sighs> Inhale, coming up all the way high prayer. Turn your right foot in and towards the left as well. <sighs> And then bring your hands into your hips. And then bending slowly, 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 slowly forward all the way down. You can bring your hands in between your legs. Get wide in your legs as much as you like to. You can bring the crown of your head into the ground. 
<sighs> Interlace your hands behind your back. We're a nice little counter twist here and stretch. Now you might feel your legs even more. We have this nice little stretch in our shoulders and our chest. You can relax the crown of your head into a block or in the ground, or maybe just stay up here onto your fingertips, and that is already way enough for you. And then crawl forward, turn your toes towards the front of the mat, low lunge. Step your left foot back, last downward facing dog of the class. <sighs> Bring your knees into the ground. And come a little further towards the top of your mat. Spread your feet mat with distance so that you may can sit in between your feet onto the mat. If you have a block or a pillow or blanket, that's a perfect moment to place it right underneath your sit bones if this is way too much on your knees, way too much on your thighs, on your ankles. Okay, just sit up here. You can bring your palms onto your thighs, close your eyes. For everyone who wants to go a little deeper, you can bring your hands behind you with your fingers pointing away from your sit bones and you can you know, let your head fall back. Again, bring some nice opening here and activation into your throat chakra, into your heart chakra. Or if you like to, and a few of you might be able to come into your forearms behind you with your fingers pointing towards your sit bones. And maybe, but maybe, just maybe, <laughs> If it's in your practice, you might want to come all the way onto your back. All the way onto your back. And you can bring your arms above your head and behind you or cactus your arms and just ah, enjoy this nice counter twist and balance after all those postures that we just came into, all the forward folds. Nice back bend here, everyone. A nice opening and stretching on the top of your feet and your ankles and your thighs. And your thighs work, your legs work so hard. So, so hard. Relaxing your shoulders. Two more breaths here. One more. And then everyone who's on their back or on their, on their hands, slowly come all the way back up and onto all fours like a child about to crawl forward. And then cross your ankles behind you, sit back, bring your legs in front of you. Ready for Shavasana. From here, lift your legs off the ground here for a moment. A little extra core strength. Your arms reaching forward with your palms facing towards your legs. And then really activating your core here. You can bend your leg as, legs as much as you need to here to your own degree again. Okay, find your sweet spot. And then interlace your hands, pistol fingers towards the left, reaching towards the left on the left side of your left leg. Inhale up to center. Exhale towards the right. Breathing deeply here. Inhale one more time back to center. Exhale towards the left. Inhale towards center. And then slowly, slowly, as slow as you can, lower all the way back onto your mat. Slowly, 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 slowly. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. And exhale. <sighs> Nice, all the way to the ground. Bring your knees into your chest for a moment. Bend your knees deeply. And then airplane your right arm towards the right. Let your knees drop towards the left and gaze towards the right. Really closing our practice here with a nice supinal twist to really release all the pressure in our back, 
on our spine to wringing the sponge a little tiny more before we close our practice. Just a, just a quick pit stop here. Inhale, your knees back to center. And then the other side, airplane wing, your left arm towards the left and let your knees drop towards the right. Bend your knees, bring both shoulders into the ground and maybe your right hand on top of your left knee. So notice any tension you might still hold, you know, might be your belly, might be your legs, your shoulders, relax your shoulders, relax your jaw, your forehead, your eyelids, your tongue. <sighs> no need to hold tension. That's your sacred place on your mat. No judgment here, judgment-free zone. Safe place to practice. Safe place to drop in. And then bring your knees back to center and bring your feet back into the ground and lay all the way onto your mat. <sighs> Make the starfish now ready for Shavasana or our meditation here at the end of our vinyasa practice. Close your eyes or find a soft gaze. And really let everything fully relax here. Mm, now at this point in our meditation, I ask you for the first time to not breathe deeply. Simply let your natural breath flow. Now after this body-based meditation. Maybe you may have noticed that you've been able to put yourself in a meditative state of mind moving through those postures. Now here, no, this is a, this is a moment, a chance for you to let go of anything that you might hold to onto. Oh, how nice to start the day releasing, leaving all the tension in your body, touching your body in so many different places, so gently. Releasing tension in your body, releasing tension in your emotions at the same time. So that you, you'll be able to move through your day today and be gentle and kind and open in your communication and interaction with your coworkers, you know, the people around you, your environment, being less reactive, more grounded. <sighs> Fight for this moment here. Your mind will go into so many different places again. Fight for this place, bring yourself back into the present time experience. Just watch your, your sweet breath here, like you're watching birds. Keeping, bringing your mind back. Relaxing your whole body.
So I'm going to put an official end to this class now, but I highly recommend to stay a little bit longer if you can to this resting pose. The rebirth, the new chances after we've killed the ego. Okay, enjoy this moment. Extend your meditation if you want to. The light in me sees the light in you. Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the practice. I'm always happy about feedback, suggestions. Other than that, have a wonderful rest of the week. Spread your wipes, wipes, wipes. Clearly, I'm in Germany speaking a lot of German again. <laughs> um, 